All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, here we are, part 19. Dang it. 2004 Chevy Monte Carlo with the 3.4 intake manifold gasket, head gaskets. Hopefully, this is it. I am done with this, man. We are backed up. It's starting to turn into a car lot here. <laughs> Dang it. So, last we left off, uh, the very last thing was um, we uh, put the new oil, put the new oil filter on, drain the oil, and um, we're gonna hook up the wiring now. The the other three ignition coil wires, uh, spark plug wires, whatever you want to call them. Get the fans in. Get some antifreeze in it. Now, here's a, here's what my thing is. There was some sealer inside the radiator. Now we look back over the videos and look back over what Olivia said, and she said that she put the radiator sealer in the old radiator. So this radiator is not supposed to have none in it because it's the new radiator, but it's funny how we see a little stain up at the top. Also, it seems that uh, she asked him for the old radiator. He said he ain't got it. So I don't know if, if he kept the new radiator and this is still the old one because it's still like a lot of seal on the, seal on, on by the neck. <laughs> I'm going to show you that. But let's try to get this thing done. All right. Be right back. All right, guys, let's help get this done. Uh, first, look, now see, uh, let's look in down in here for a minute. See, now, guys, you look down in there. Now, now you can see the stuff down in there. But check this out. Now, according to her, uh, it overheated. He told her to put the stuff in there. It didn't work. And then he changed the radiator. Does that look like if that was the radiator after the stuff was in the, in the system? Come on, I don't know, man. That's a lot of stuff in there. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's get this out. Are we sure he changed the radiator? I'm, I'm not really sure because, you know, she said she asked for the old part and he said he didn't have it. Now, why wouldn't you have it? Let me look at, let's look at this radiator and see uh, if we can see anything. Oh, there, there is, there is like, like bolts missing from brackets and all that, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <sighs> don't know. Anyway, let's get to what we're doing. All right, let's uh, remember before I had, I was wondering what these, how this hook up these wires right here. Oh, don't go up there. Oh, you know what? I see it. These go underneath here. Okay, we gotta take out this bolt right here. Eight millimeter. The top valve cover bolt. Let's take this out. There we go. All right, let's tighten that back up. Okay. So now, let's uh, unhook this little clip right here. get our wires and hook them into here all right go up to here hook them into here that looks good right now let's go over here and hook them up we have number two Number five 
and number four. That's done. All right, let's get our little we'll fan. Okay, next we're gonna do a lower our fan down. So we're gonna bring these mounts up. Make sure we're good, everywhere good. And I wanna make sure our fan, our wiring harness, bring it up here. That's for the fans. Okay, let's lower this fan down slowly. Connect our, let's plug them up. Okay. Right there. Okay, now let's try to get these down in there. This thing is stuck. Keep this thing away from. What is wrong? Hitting on something over here, man. It's stopping me from going down there. Hitting the battery terminal. Okay, you know what? Let's try to put this thing down at an angle. <laughs> this thing was so easy coming out of here. So easy coming out of here. on the line over here. Dang! Sucked. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get our two bolts. As a matter of fact, before we do that, remember we disconnected our training line over here to make sure we were able to get that. Let me get this radiator cap out of here. This old radiator cap that he put in here. Okay. Hook it our training line. And that's all we have to do is just push that line in. And it's going to snap right into place. There we 
go. Okay, let's make sure this thing is in there. All right, great. All right, let's get our two bolts so we can bolt this fan up, bear back. All right, we got our two 10 millimeter bolts. And uh, let's uh, get this thing started. Okay, that's one. Clips all were messed up. Okay, that's two. Get my 10 millimeter deep, 3 8 drive. Go ahead and tighten them bolts up. All right, I'm gonna tighten this up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is bring our brackets down, get our hose out the way. And then, we gotta pull the engine forward and you let these brackets lock down over there. Get our 13 millimeter bolts. Start them. All right, let's take out our two bolts over here. Holding this little crossbar over here. Okay. All right, let's get our 13 millimeter. We got our 13 millimeter deep, 3 8 drive. Got my cordless gun. Next thing we do, we're gonna come around this side. Get our hose. This is our lower radiator hose. Is it? Oh, that double. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. My bad. Double. Let's get that hooked in on to there. All right, we're gonna get our pliers and hook that on, and we'll be right back. Okay, got a little pliers right here, special hose clamp pliers. And what we're gonna do is just get them situated on this. And these I gotta line up the jaws to the pliers to the clamp and then squeeze it together and see so it locks into place. So let's get that up there. And see is see I can turn it any way I want. That's cool. This is definitely cool. Alright, now to release it, I'm gonna hold it in just a little bit, push the lever, release, done. All right, next is our cables. The first one is, just like the accelerator. Yeah, one of them. Okay, that's going to open up the throttle all the way. And what we're gonna have to do is get it into there. Just gotta push that down here. Might need a screwdriver or something. Let me get a screwdriver. Right back. Alright, got me a screwdriver here. I wanna get this. And I wanna push that down into, into that little slot. Maybe if we got a better screwdriver or something. Like a punch or something. 
better off. There we go. All right, bring this cable, open the thought up, bring this cable around. And now we're gonna hook it up and slide it in. So you gotta make sure we line this up right. That looks like the way, okay, slide this over. And that little tab right there is gonna lock right into place right there. Perfect, okay, let's get this cable back around here. All right, next is the uh, cruise control. What we're gonna do, this just hooks on, and just snaps into place. And then, we gotta get this one on. Make sure we get this out of the way. Done. That sucks. I don't know why I should have put the breather on before I did that. That's all good. All right, next is, guys, I want, you to, I want you to take a look on the back of the truck. You see that piece right there? That is the final piece. That is the first part we took off in this car. There it is. That's the end of the party line. All right, we got our air filter. Let's put our air filter in here. the kind of crooked okay now we need this to start the car because it has that mass airflow on it so I gotta get this down into here I should have put that on before I took that off I, I shouldn't even mess with this you know guys I ain't even gonna I'm not gonna sit here and take a chance and breaking these uh breaking these cables but how did you get that out before you got the wires out? I probably took that out first. I mean, you probably took the cables out first. Mm. Now I'm going to have a little difficult time getting these things out of here. Man, come on. I am so anxious to get this thing done, man. I'm... Uh, Tell you what, tell you what, give me a key. You know, guys, I think he pushed doing everything. One. Get that out of the way. And slide over number two. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without taking that off completely. Looks like one of the clips are missing. <laughs> All right, so let's get this. Let's get this over here onto the throttle body. Come on, get on hooked on.
crummy air filters in the way. The air filter's not going in all the way, so it's uh, not. <laughs> okay, enough of this, man. Get out, get out, just, just get out of here, just get out of the way. See if I can see it down here. This thing is all loose and everything. And... There, all right. Let's lock that into place. Before it comes back out. Okay. Now let's hook this on. Put this out of the way. Hook this on. Okay. We got our air chart, air temperature sensor. Connect that. Put our little holes in here. Okay. Plug up our map mass airflow sensor. And I'm gonna get our screwdriver and tighten this up. And then we're gonna hook these back up. Be right back. All right, guys. The next thing we're gonna do, we are down here now. I got my 3H drive ratchet, my 6 inch extension and a seven millimeter deep socket. And what I'm gonna do here is we got a bleeder right here. So I'm gonna open up that bleeder. Then on the other side of the engine, I'm gonna open up the other bleeder. Be careful these, cause I have seen sometimes they break off. All right, that is ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is get my oil and let's put our oil in. Oh, nice and clean down there. Oh, that's the old cylinder head. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pour more oil in, and I don't think I need to record that. I mean, if you need me to show you how to pour the oil in, you got no business watching this video <laughs> or this series. You got a oh, problem. Attempting to do this job. Oh, attempting to do this job, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pour the oil in, and then we're gonna get an adapter so we can get our antifreeze poured in there. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, you got a little funnel here. You gotta get one of these kits. These kits are like twenty dollars and all. It helps with putting in antifreeze. Now, according to them, according to her, she put the stuff in there, took it back to him, he changed the radiator afterwards. We're gonna fill this up and see what happens, see if it has some kind of flow. If not, man, if this thing starts to overheat, we can check it and see if it's a good flow or not. And I'm um, gonna be pulling this radiator out of here. But, all right, let's go and pour this antifreeze in and as we pour it in, it's going to start, uh, the air is going to come out through the top. Now, you, being that this bleeder is up here and that one is lower. Well, actually, no, no, it might come out through this one first because this one's through onto the bottom radiator holes. Let's find out. Hey. And that's you can have to hear it, hear the air. You hear that? Mm Um, that after he did the intake manifold gasket, he didn't bleed the system. Oh yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. That's why it was overheating. Definitely could be. All right, I just put in one full gallon. This is a good sign that it's not bleeding out yet, and it's not filled. That means a lot all this antifreeze went down to the system and if the radio was clogged it would probably filled up already but um we're gonna go get a second gallon and we'll be right back all right got our second gallon here yeah that's good okay 
Okay, let's start pulling this one in. And keep an eye on the bleeders. Oh, there's one. And there's the other one. All right. Uh, that's water. Oh, it's starting to turn green. All that right. That looks watery. Dang it. So they must have been putting water in the system? It does look like water. See, why would water be in it? Maybe you know, they were putting you know, water gonna, in the system. We're, we're going to we're gonna close this one off over here just a little bit. And we're going to continue to pour out that one until we can see that coming out some straight green. Alright guys, we ain't gonna hold you up. We're gonna sit here and wait for this to come out green and then we'll show you. We'll be right back. Okay, we're good. Let's close that off. Now when you tighten this up, guys, this is really light. I mean, just a little bit. That's it. Just enough to close it off. Alright, let's do our second one. Alright, that's good. The next thing we're gonna do. Uh, let's see over here. Blah blah blah, fuel injection, blah, blah. fuel pump, fuel pump relay. Well, that's the one we want. Let's get a screwdriver. Pair of pliers. We're going to pull out the fuel pump relay fuse. Guys, like, what the heck are you doing that for? Because, being that there's no oil up in the system, what we're going to do is crank the engine over. And let the oil, let the oil pump pick up the oil, get it through that system. We try, we're going to try to avoid a dry start as much as possible. All right, let's go over here. We got to put this thing somewhere too. Let's connect our negative terminal. And it's alive. Oh, you know what, guys? Thanks, thank, good thing I remembered. Whew, man. I got to finish tightening up these bolts. So let me get my ratchet, we're gonna tighten those up. Be right back. All right, got my 10 millimeter short socket, 3H drive, my 3H drive ratchet. <laughs> okay, good thing I remembered that. What would happen if you didn't remember? Nothing, but probably later on, oh. that pump would have <laughs> probably would've came over there. <laughs> I can laugh about it now because I, I, I caught it. All right, uh, dang, where are the keys? All right, guys, let me go get the keys because we haven't had the keys for this in a long time. So let me go get the keys. We're going to crank it over, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, you know what? Before I go, let me uh, tighten this terminal up here. And this is a 5 16 or an 8 millimeter. Either one. Okay, all right, now, we'll be right back. All right, I got the keys. Get the fuse out. Let's crank this over, get some oil going up into it. What you backing up for? That, hey, that don't show no kind of confidence in me. They don't know I'm backing up. Hey, I'm saying they back. Okay, well, don't say it. <laughs> I don't know what that thing's gonna do. Put our fuse back. Okay. Cover this back up. Here we go. 
Here we go. Let's start it up. Guys, we're gonna sit here, keep it out. We're gonna keep it out on our aim freezer. Guys, look at that. That is good oh, that we are bad. Ashley is number one. But uh -huh. number one. I'm 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 number one. <laughs> What's that day? Like yeah. <laughs> Did it is. Did it. Yeah. Watch this day go boom, boom. <laughs> cut it off. Cut the camera off. Cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna sit here. Look, look at that, guys. That thing is not even budging. That engine's not even moving. Man, that is superb. All right, but I, we ain't out of the woods yet. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna let this thing run and run and run. Get it up to operating temperature. See if the fans come on. We're going to sit here and let the, and if the fans come on, I'm going to let you know. We're going to show that. Then we're going to sit here and let it run for another half hour to an hour to make sure to see if that temperature stays where it's at. You know, we're good. Excellent job. Excellent. All right. It's the smoke. Oh, this little one here. It's smoking because I did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right, all right. I just, but see, I don't gotta. No, I ain't got space. The smart guys out there, they know what that smoke is for. They know what's going on. They know it's burning up the antifreeze and the oil and everything. Else. They know it. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. I gotta put some more antifreeze in there. Let's go check out Gage. Gage is about a quarter of the way. Definitely want to get you one of these because you can put antifreeze in it. Where the antifreeze at? Man. Get some more antifreeze I'm putting in. So just in case it starts bubbling up, it won't spill out all over the place. So we're gonna put some antifreeze in this. I'm gonna throw about that much in there and wait for it to go down. So far, smoke is starting to clear up. It's running really good. I'm gonna wait till that temperature gets half. You know, if you know what, you know what? Let's go in here. Let's cut our heat on. Oh, it's already on. I've got the AC. On. There we go. Okay, it's on hot. Let's put it out. It's already coming out through the vents. Okay. It's not good right now. It's coming out cold. It better warm up. You know what that's going to mean, right? <laughs> you know what that's going to mean with all that stuff in there? That's what suck. I think it should have been warm coming out of there. That stuff in that heater core, man. That would suck. Let me see here. Let's still ice cold. It is radiated, but... Alright, we're going to let it run a little bit longer. Well, a lot longer. Because I want to see, make sure those fans come on by themselves. But, uh, it's running really good, though. Alright. Oh, we heard a little bubble in here. Yeah, get that air out of there. All right, be right back. All right, been another 10 minutes. It's getting warm up here. Let's go check our temperature inside. Oh, you know, we checked back on the video. We're back. What part was that you started on? We went to part, back part, back to part one. And they just had this plug leaning on the battery, and I said it's not supposed to be like that. 
So we're gonna have to figure out something with that, especially keeping it away from that uh that pulley and all. <laughs> the head, man. Can't people put stuff with their own. Alright, let's go over here, check our temperature. Okay, we're getting to the getting to the midway. Oh yeah, we got some heat coming out. So that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. That's that's telling me that our heater core is not clogged yet. I mean, it should be hotter, but we'll see. Temperature holding a little bit above a quarter. Guys, this thing is running really good. So we're gonna still wait for that halfway mark. And as soon as those fans come on, or if they don't come on, <laughs> either way, I'm gonna let y'all know. All right? But we know we do know the fans work because we jumped them out. So we ain't gotta worry about that. We jumped them fans out. So we just go to something else. All right. We'll be right back. All right. We are one line before the halfway mark. The antifreeze, you can see the smoke coming out of here. So it is warm. There's a little bubbles coming out. So it looks like it's circulating a little bit. Fans are still not on yet. Let me uh, check to uh, see why. I'm Okay, it's one notch before the half. Let me show you. What's going on here? All right, there's our temperature setting at. This cooled down a little bit. The temperature coming out of the vents cooled down a little bit. That sucks. We're still, that sucks. That is sucks. The temperature of the vents can't it's, it's cool down some. Mm -hmm. Yep, let me check the hoses. This one's kind of cool. Man, that one's, man, ain't that hot anyway. So we ain't really hot yet, but when it was hot. All right, we're gonna let it run. We're gonna We'll check it out. Be right back. All right, guys, we're still waiting. Uh, it's been about another 10 minutes since last time we spoke. Heat's coming out. Temperature still holding at one line before halfway. Now, what we're looking for, we're looking, we're going to look for the fans to come on and then shut off. Once it does that, we know the temperature is staying. Then we're gonna close our system off right here, and then we're gonna let it come on and shut off again. All right, well, we'll be right back. As soon as these fans, hopefully, <laughs> these fans kick in. Be right back. All right, guys, while this is running, I, I, I put this plug right here, up there. I am not sure if it goes there. So any of you guys that have worked on one of these or have one, let me know where that plug goes so I can make sure I put it in the right spot or is there something missing? Because, you know, in the beginning, it was laying on top of the, the battery and we just know that ain't the way it's supposed to be. So I really appreciate it if you let me know where that goes so I can put that back. Still waiting. <laughs> Temperature still a half. Still right there. One line. Before heat's coming out really well. Cool. All right. Be right back. All right. Been about ten more minutes. Still good. Let's go check it out. What we got here, guys? We got this one. Digital thermometer. It's uh, so you can guys, I mean, you guys can hear me say something, but you don't know what the actual temperature is coming out of here. You don't can't really see it. I'm telling you that it's warm. Let's get a nice. Oops, let's get it down in here. All right, let's turn this over. All right, let's turn this on.
All right. This is the temperature coming out of the vents, and that's Fahrenheit. Is that right? Man, there's no way that thing could be that hot coming out of there. Could it? I mean, hey, yeah, that is kind of hot. Let's uh, back this up a little bit. It's still climbing. I think something's wrong with this thing. I don't think this thing is coming out like that. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. <laughs> That is the temperature coming out of the vents. We get our heat turned all the way to high. All right, let's go back out there and let these fans come on. This is good. We're going to shut this off. All right, let's go out there and wait for these fans to come on. Yeah, this thing is hot. <laughs> All right, guys, we're still waiting. Now, remember, they got, this guy put an old cap up here, and we just looked it up. The radiator cap that's supposed to be here is supposed to be uh, rated for 16 PSI. What we need to do is come over here, get a little wire wheel brush, So we can see what the heck this is. Keep tight. I have no idea what the heck this cap is. Because a wrong cap can make this car overheat as well. All right, I'm going to go around. I'm going to clean this up and see if we can find some numbers. Be right back. All right, guys, we got it. 18 pounds. So what's, what's messed up about this? Now, here, here's where stupidity comes in on this guy's part. Because you got an 18-pound radiator cap. So what's going to happen? This cap is not going to release until it hits 18 or 19, 18.5, whatever it is, PSI. So, what's gonna happen? If you got plastic intake manifold gaskets and you got a cap that's holding that pressure in, it's gonna poof. It's gonna blow them plastic gaskets right out of the water. And, you know, this gasket was leaking. That could be a possibility of why it was overheating. Um, so we definitely gotta get us the right cap to put on this. I can't put this cap back on now, knowing that. And we're still waiting for our fans to come on. I mean, it's a good thing. The car's not overheating. Um, let's go check to see what our temperature is. All right, still, still one line before below the halfway mark. So we're still looking good. Nice heat coming out. All right, we're gonna watch it and we'll be right back. All right, our fans are on. Antifreeze went down. I 
Okay, they stopped, which means it did cool down. That's a good sign. Let's check out what our temperature is. Okay, when I walked over here, the temperature was halfway, and then it dropped back down to that little mark right before half. That's great. That's great. All right, guys. Now what we're gonna do? This is we're gonna. You know what? We're gonna put us get us a cap, put a cap on it, and see if this thing acts right. All right. We'll be right back. All right. Brand new cap. 16. 16 PSI cap. Now we're gonna let this thing run. See if the fans come back on again. And then we'll fill this system up over here. What the heck? Guys, uh, look down in here. See all that shiny stuff? <laughs> all right, all right. So while this car is running, oh man, we're gonna uh, do we tighten these up yet? Yeah. Dang it! All right, we're gonna take this off, and I'm getting this while the car is running. I'm taking this bottle out of here, missing that stuff, getting that stuff out of here. All right. Be right back. All right, took the two nuts off of here. And what I'm gonna do is slowly pick this up. Okay, unhook our holes. So bring this to the side for a few minutes. And there is so much stuff down in here. So I'm going, to, guys, I'm going to hurt and brush and rinse this thing out. Then we can put this back in. Be right back. All right, here we go. I rinse this out. As I can, we don't see no more stuff up here. All right. So let's put back up our holes. Now this clamp right here, guys. In case you didn't know, this clamp is a squeeze against a clamp. What you can do is just pick that up and open it up if it allows you. Whatever. Open that up. <laughs> But once you get it on there, you can just squeeze it and it locks into place by itself. So, now, do not do what I'm doing right now. I got the car running the boat. You don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to slide down there. Put our bolts on. The nuts on it, keep turning on the nuts. And remember, these are not crazy tight. Actually, if you want, you can even just take your hand and tighten them up. Dang it. it. Yeah, don't do that. Dang it. Dang it. All right. Let's tighten this other one up. All right, now I'm going to fill this up with some antifreeze up to our fill line. It's down there somewhere. All right, well, still cold. Let me see if I can see a mark down there. This thing, this engine's running really well. All right, I see a line right there. We're gonna put some antifreeze in that. All right, we're gonna put some antifreeze in it. We're gonna let this thing run. Then we're gonna check our fans again. We'll be good to go. Be right back. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is get my light here. It's getting kind of dark out here. So I'll get my light we got from the truck hooked up to 12 volts. This thing's cool. Look at that. So we're running into nighttime hours now. Now what I'm going to do, now that we got the cap on and everything, we're going to set our light here, and I'm going to bring the idle up, and we're going to watch these fans come on.
not on, huh? There they go. Fans are right now on. for them to shut off. And they shut off. That's good. All right, I'm letting the idle to go. I'm checking for any back pressure out of the tank and all, the expansion tank, which is good. All right, let's go check out the temperature on the gauge. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect temperature. Let me uh, cut the lights on here. Oh, it's like dash lights on. <laughs> so, there go. Oh, look at that, guys. We got a perfect temperature. I'm yelling in your ear. Yes. I'm yelling in Sylvia's ear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know. Is it because maybe. The intake manifold gasket was no good. Either was it a radiator cap? Was it? I don't know what it is. I don't know what happened. Did the guy mess up and do something? Did she have a leak at first? Um. Don't know. The only thing I know is uh. The only thing I know is that everything is running perfect right now. Was something wrong with this head? Because it was warped. Was it overheating because of that? Was it, was the, was the, well, I'm pretty sure if this head was warped, the other one was warped, but we got a new cylinder head back there. We shaved this one. The intake manifold gasket was blown. So maybe he, because he had that 18 cap up there, did it blow out the gasket and cause it to mess up? We got the right cap on it now. Everything looks beautiful. This thing came out really good. I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I have, we had fun doing this job. It was great for the input that you guys put into this. That was cool. Uh, the suggestions, we really appreciate that. Because um, without that, we wouldn't have got this done. I wouldn't have uh, known which way to go on some things. Uh, but we still need your help on this plug right here to let me know that we hooked this up right right here. Let me know that. Definitely need to know that. We don't need no problems. All right. Job great. We'll be right back. All right. So that's the end of part 19 and the end of this job. That's it. Series finale right here. Okay, part 19. Oh yeah, we know. 2004, we, I'm, oh, I'm talking. Okay, oh, hey, hey, okay. 2004, Chevy Monte Carlo. Montego, whatever it's called. Monteca, <laughs> 3.4, okay? That was, we did intake manifold gasket, head gasket, we replaced a, a cylinder head, all kinds of things. Watch it again if you're not sure. No problem, watch as many times as you want. Okay, what is it that you would like to say? Oh, now, you, now I can speak? What do you want to say? All right, let her know. We still gotta, we gotta let her know that we gotta, uh, she has to get exhaust mounts to hold up the exhaust system. So, but what we're gonna do in the meantime, I'm gonna get some nice mechanics wire and hold it up. Or if, if auto zone, matter of fact, I'm gonna go, okay, I see. Nice serious. mechanic wire, like <laughs> yeah. a bad one. Yeah, there is a cheap one. There's a <laughs> There's coat hanger. There's ugly There's one. Just a coat That's hanger. A nice one. All right, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm going down, I'm going to call Fisher, and if Fisher got them, we're just going to get them and put them on Fisher's there for her. Fisher's they went home. Yeah, matter of fact, we can get it tomorrow, tomorrow because right. she ain't picking this up tonight. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. You we're call gonna put her up, them... she be here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to put them on for her uh, tomorrow, so that so she ain't got to worry about nothing. And they're only going to cost, they cost like five, ten bucks a piece. She can uh, 
She can play a slayer for that or whatever. I don't care. But go ahead, you go, go. You got it. that's all I want to say. I don't say. know where I left off now. Okay, so that was it. Thank you everybody for watching, for everybody's help and everything. Okay, but if you guys have any comments or questions, you guys know what to do. Post them below in the comment section. Or you can email to me at Tim at AstralAutoRepairs.com. Time for a happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Time to drop the mic. Yeah, get. Look at that thing still running. Man. Look at that, guys. Y'all see that running? That engine running? You can't even tell it. If, if I if I cut, if I mute the sound right now, y'all be like, that engine's not running. He's full of it. Let's get a little closer on it. It's getting dark out here. Look at that. Now cut your volume down on your on your mic on your speakers. And look at that, if that belt wasn't moving, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know that engine running. So they, no, cut it down so they don't hear the engine right now. So that way, it, it looks like they can't even tell this engine is running. See? They get it, y'all better get it. I don't, I don't get it. You know, you know, cause right now. If the engine is nice and quiet. No, it, you can't tell that it's running, so if you cut your, Oh, because it's speakers, not moving. That's right. So oh. they, well, there you go. See, explain there you go. Yourself. I did explain myself. I didn't explain. I didn't, I didn't they explain understood. It. Yeah, but you yeah, understood. Dang it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that perfect job. Drop the mic. <laughs> Astro Auto. See you next time. See you next time.